we're uncovering the history of the 1988 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. Not only does this coin have a captivating story, but it also holds a significant value that may surprise you. The Philadelphia Mint produced the 1988 P Quarter as part of the United States Mint's ongoing efforts to create durable and attractive coinage. This particular coin was minted in response to the growing demand for circulating currency in the late 1980s. Now, let's take a closer look at the coin itself. The obverse features the classic portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan, while the reverse showcases the iconic eagle. This design has been a staple of the quarter since 1932. But what makes the 1988 P quarter truly remarkable? Its rarity and potential value. While millions were minted, certain conditions and grades can significantly increase its worth. The most sought-after condition for collectors is the uncirculated grade, which signifies that the coin has never been in circulation and retains its original luster. Coins graded at MS65 or higher can fetch anywhere from $50 to $100 or more. But wait, it doesn't stop there. For those few 1988 P quarter dollar coins that are found in pristine condition or have unique characteristics, the value can skyrocket. Some rare examples have been sold at auction for upwards of $1,000 or more. Imagine stumbling across one of these hidden treasures in your pocket change. As a coin collector, it's crucial to stay informed about market trends and the specific attributes that enhance a coin's value. Join coin shows, network with fellow collectors, and keep an eye on auction results to get a sense of where the market is headed. To recap, the 1988 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar is not just another coin. It's a piece of American history with the potential to be worth a small fortune. If you come across one in excellent condition, don't underestimate its value. Take it to a reputable coin dealer for appraisal. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting and uncovering the story of a particular gem, the 1986 P Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar. Stick around because this coin has a history and a value that may surprise you. Asterisk. First, let's talk about the basics. The Washington Quarter was first minted in 1932, celebrating George Washington's 200th birthday. By 1986, the U.S. Mint had already produced millions of these coins, but what sets the 1986 P Mint Mark Quarter apart from the rest? The 1986 P Mint Mark Quarter was struck at the Philadelphia Mint where they used modern minting techniques to create a high-quality product. This year was significant for several reasons, including the dedication of the Statue of Liberty. To commemorate this, the reverse side of the coin features a beautifully designed depiction of Washington. Asterisk. In 1986, the United States was experiencing a unique cultural moment. It was a time of economic recovery and change which made these coins not just currency but also collectible items that reflect the spirit of the era. The 1986 quarter reflects a blend of history and artistry, capturing an important milestone for America. Asterisk. Now, let's get to the good part, the value. You might be wondering, why would a coin from 1986 be worth millions? Well, while most 1986 P quarters are not exceptionally rare, certain conditions and grades can significantly increase their worth. Coins that are in excellent condition, especially those graded by professional services like PCGS or NGC, can fetch impressive prices. Asterisk. For example, a 1986 P quarter in mint condition could be valued at $2 to $5, but don't be surprised if rare varieties or coins in pristine condition go for much higher, sometimes even into the thousands. As the demand for collectible coins rises, it's important to stay informed about the market. Many collectors are keen on finding coins with low mintage numbers, unique errors, or specific features. If you come across a 1986 P quarter with any unique characteristics, it might be worth getting it appraised. Asterisk. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye on that 1986 P quarter dollar. You never know what treasure you might have hiding in your pocket or coin jar. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content about coins and collecting. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you have a 1986 P quarter? What's the most interesting coin in your collection? 
Thanks for watching, and happy collecting. Feel free to adjust the tone and style to match your channel's personality. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1983 P. Washington Quarter. This seemingly ordinary coin may just be hiding some extraordinary value. Could it really be worth millions? Stay tuned to find out. The 1983 P. Quarter is part of the Washington Quarter series, which began in 1932 to commemorate George Washington's 200th birthday. But by the 1980s, the series was a regular circulating coin, with millions being produced each year. 1983 wasn't an ordinary year for the Washington Quarter. Due to an economic recession and budget cuts, the U.S. Mint significantly reduced the production quality of circulating coins that year. Unlike other years, there were no mint sets produced in 1982 or 1983. This means high-quality examples of coins from those years are much rarer and more sought after by collectors today. So what makes this coin so valuable? Well, let's break it down. First, the Philadelphia Mint produced over 673 million quarters in 1983. But here's the catch. Almost all of these quarters entered circulation immediately. With no mint sets and limited collectors setting these coins aside, very few 1983 P quarters in high grades exist today. For a coin to be worth a lot, it needs to be in exceptional condition. The 1983 P is especially valuable in mint state grades, where the coin's surface remains in pristine, uncirculated condition. This is particularly rare since most 1983 quarters were heavily circulated. Look for the P mint mark on the obverse, which means it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Coins with minimal scratches, a full rim, and sharp details on Washington's portrait and the eagle on the reverse are highly desirable. There are a few known varieties, including doubling errors and rotated dies. Finding one of these errors can increase the coin's value substantially. Images and descriptions of doubling errors and rotated dies appear on screen. Believe it or not, some 1983 P quarters have fetched thousands at auctions, especially in high grades. In 2021, a nearly perfect graded specimen sold for over $15,000. With these prices, there's speculation that pristine examples could one day be worth even more. And if you're lucky enough to find a perfect MS-70 or one with a rare die variety, some experts believe that it could eventually reach six or even seven figures in value, depending on the demand in future years. Scene transitions to a coin shop with the narrator holding a magnifying glass and inspecting coins. You never know. Always inspect your quarters, and if you find a 1983 P, set it aside. Many shops may have uncirculated rolls or individual quarters from this year. If you believe you've found a high grade coin, consider having it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. A good grade can significantly increase its value. The 1983 P. Washington Quarter is an exciting piece of numismatic history, and who knows? It could also be a golden opportunity for collectors willing to search for high-grade examples. So, keep an eye out, and happy hunting! We're diving into a coin that's often overlooked but can potentially be worth quite a fortune, the 1981 Washington Quarter, specifically those minted in Philadelphia. That's right! Grab your pocket change and let's explore why some of these quarters could be worth millions. Before we get into the jaw-dropping values, let's talk about the history of the Washington Quarter. First introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington, this coin became a staple of U.S. currency. By 1981, the Washington Quarter had undergone a few changes, especially in composition and design but it still featured the iconic profile of George Washington on the obverse and the American Eagle on the reverse. In 1981, the Philadelphia Mint produced over 600 million quarters. What's particularly notable here is the small P mint mark on the obverse, just above the date. The Philadelphia Mint had only started using the P mint mark on quarters in 1980, so it was still relatively new to see on coins at this time. So, what makes the 1981 P. Washington Quarter special? Well, as with many coins, certain errors or variations can dramatically increase their value. While the standard 1981 quarter is generally worth its face value, there are a few rare instances where an error or unique quality can make it extremely valuable. For example, 
Some 1981 peacorders have been found with doubled dyes, especially on the obverse side, which means some of the text or design may appear blurry or duplicated. This error isn't common, but when it's found, collectors go crazy for it. Additionally, high-quality specimens that have been well-preserved and graded at the top levels, say MS-67 or MS-68, can fetch a pretty penny, often valued in the thousands. But if you manage to find a truly rare error combined with high grading, you could be sitting on a potential jackpot worth hundreds of thousands, or even millions. Use a magnifying glass to inspect the words liberty, and in God we trust. If you see any doubling, you might have a valuable coin. Coins that are uncirculated and have minimal wear are worth much more. Grading companies can certify your coin, giving it an official grade, which can dramatically impact its value. Dot. Sometimes, the coin's image may be off-center. These unique Ms. strikes can add substantial value. Think you've got a valuable 1981 P quarter? The best way to know is to get it professionally graded. Certified grading companies like PCGS or NGC can provide a detailed evaluation and authenticate any errors. This not only gives you peace of mind but also makes it easier to sell for top dollar. So, the next time you're digging through your pocket change, keep an eye out for these hidden treasures. Who knows? We're diving into a hidden treasure of the past. The 1979 D. Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar. Now, this may look like your average quarter, but some of these are worth a small fortune. In fact, we're talking millions. But what makes this coin so special? Let's dig into its history, unique features, and the reasons why it has collectors shelling out big bucks. First, let's rewind back to 1979. It was a time when the United States Mint was producing millions of Washington quarters. The Denver Mint struck these quarters identified by the small D-mint mark. This was part of the long-standing series that began back in 1932, honoring George Washington, the founding father himself. These quarters were made primarily of copper and nickel, known as clad quarters, a shift away from the silver coins minted before 1965. At the time, these were worth only 25 cents. But today, they've become much more than spare change. So, why would anyone pay millions for a 1979 decorder? The answer lies in its rarity and unique errors. Some of these coins have rare minting errors, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or even the elusive missing clad layer error. These mistakes are highly collectible, and they can make a huge difference in value. But that's not all. It's also believed that certain coins from this year are struck with a particularly rare overstrike, or unique die markings. These coins are difficult to find and are highly prized by collectors. Now, let's get to the million dollar question. What makes a 1979 decorder worth so much? First off, the value of these coins skyrockets when they're in pristine condition. Coins graded at the top of the scale, such as MS-68 or higher, are extremely rare. Even minor details like luster, color, and strike quality can add significant value. Additionally, historical relevance and growing interest in rare U.S. coinage also contribute to the high prices. Auctions have seen these quarters sell for thousands to millions, particularly when they carry unique errors or near-perfect condition. One of these elusive quarters could sell for as much as $1 million or more under the right circumstances. Wondering if you might have one of these valuable coins in your collection? Here's what you should look for. First, check the mint mark. The D indicates it's from the Denver Mint. Then, look for signs of minting errors, double dye, missing clad layers, or anything unusual. Lastly, consider having your coin professionally graded, as it could reveal a hidden gem you never knew you had. So, there you have it, folks. The 1979 D quarter might seem like just another coin, but with the right error or perfect grade, it could be worth a life changing sum. Do you have any quarters from this year? Be sure to check them closely. You might be sitting on a small fortune. If you found this video helpful or you've got a rare coin story to share, drop a comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more coin collecting tips, and as always, happy hunting! We're diving deep into the fascinating world of the 1981 D. Mint Mark Washington Quarter. 
This coin may look like any other quarter you'd find in your pocket, but some rare versions of this coin are worth a fortune. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The quarter became an essential part of American coinage, and it's remained in production ever since. By 1981, the quarter was still featuring the classic Washington profile designed by John Flanagan, a style that's instantly recognizable. In 1981, the Denver Mint produced these quarters as part of a regular minting cycle, but not every coin that came out of this minting year is the same. Certain variations and errors can make the difference between an ordinary quarter and one that's worth thousands or even millions of dollars. So, what sets the 1981 D. Washington Quarter apart? First, let's talk about the D-Mint mark. The D signifies that the coin was minted in Denver. In 1981, Denver produced millions of these quarters, which were widely circulated across the U.S. However, this doesn't mean every coin is worth the same. Collectors prize certain unique qualities, such as well-preserved coins in high grades or those with errors. Coins from the Denver Mint in 1981 were made using a copper nickel clad composition. While most quarters from this year are not rare, a small number of them possess unique characteristics that can skyrocket their value. Errors are the big money makers in the coin world, and the 1981 D. Washington Quarter is no exception. Some notable errors include doubled dies, off center strikes, and clipped planchets. For example, a double die error occurs when the coin is struck twice, creating a noticeable doubling effect on the coin's features. These errors are highly sought after by collectors. Another factor that increases the coin's value is its condition. Coins graded by professional services, like PCGS or NGC, can achieve values exponentially higher if they're in top-notch, mint-state condition. Coins rated MS67 or higher are rare finds and can be worth thousands of dollars, even without any errors. Some recent auction records have shown the 1981 D. Washington Quarter selling for eye-popping prices. In the right condition, this coin has reached prices over $5,000 at auction. While most 1981 D. Quarters won't bring in that kind of money, those rare, high-quality coins with errors or exceptional grades can be worth a small fortune. One particular 1981 D. Quarter in pristine condition fetched nearly $10,000. While that's not quite in the millions, the increasing demand and rarity of such coins make them highly valuable to the right collectors. As time goes on, who knows, the value of this quarter could continue to rise. So, how can you find one of these valuable quarters? Start by checking any 1,981 quarters you come across for the D mint mark. Look closely for any errors, especially on the lettering and the date. If the quarter is in great condition, it might be worth getting it graded by a professional service. Remember, even if you don't find the rarest quarter right away, coin collecting is a fun and rewarding hobby. And who knows, maybe one day you'll stumble upon that perfect 1981 D quarter worth thousands. And that wraps up our look into the fascinating world of the 1981 D Washington quarter. Keep your eyes peeled for this little piece of American history. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things coin collecting. Who knows what treasures await you next? Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a spotlight on a classic piece, the 1978 D. Mint Mark Washington Quarter. What if I told you that certain unique coins from this year could be worth a small fortune? Stick around to learn the history of this coin, what makes it unique? and what to look for if you want to see a big payday from this little piece of American history. So let's start with a bit of history. The 1978 D. Washington Quarter was part of the last series before the coin saw a significant design update in the late 1990s with the release of the state quarters. The coin features the iconic profile of George Washington on the obverse, or head side, designed by John Flanagan, which has been a staple on the quarter since 1932. These quarters were struck at the Denver Mint, which is what the D Mint mark stands for. In 1978 alone, the Denver Mint produced over 287 million of these quarters, so they were far from rare at the time. But, as we all know, not every quarter is made equal. Now I know what you're thinking, millions? 
For a quarter? Yes, and here's why. While a standard 1978 decorder is typically worth face value, certain rare variations or errors can make a coin extremely valuable to collectors. These could include rare minting errors, like double strikes, die cracks, or unique patterns from a one-of-a-kind die mistake. If you're lucky enough to find a high-grade, error-free coin from this year that's been kept in pristine condition, it might even fetch a pretty penny at auction. Quarters like these in mint state condition, graded MS67 or higher, could already be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. But let's talk about the potential million-dollar versions. What would it take to have a coin reach this level? Million-dollar quarters are a reality, but they are usually linked to extremely rare examples with unique characteristics. To date, no regular 1978 decorder has sold for millions. But if one with a rare error or unusual composition, like a wrong metal planchet or a significant minting error, were discovered, it could become a legend in the coin-collecting world. Imagine finding a 1978 decorder with an error like a double strike or a mismatched die. If authenticated by a grading service, such a coin could skyrocket in value. And if you were to hold on to a perfectly preserved specimen in a high-grade mint state, it might eventually become one of those coins with immense value over time as collectors look for the rarest, most pristine pieces from history. Okay. So now you're probably wondering if you have one of these coins hiding in your change jar. To identify if your 1978 decorder could be valuable, first, look at the coin's condition. Grading is crucial. Coins with fewer scratches, signs of wear, and high detail command higher prices. Next, check for any signs of errors. Examine the coin closely for things like double strikes, cracks, or any signs that it might have been struck with a unique error. You can also take it to a professional coin grader who can give you a better idea of its value. If your coin looks promising, consider having it authenticated and graded by a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. This is especially important if you believe your quarter has unique qualities that might increase its value substantially. In short, while it's unlikely that a 1978 D quarter would be worth millions, the possibility exists if the right circumstances come together. For the average collector, finding one in mint state could still bring a decent profit, and that's exciting in itself. So, if you have a 1978 decorder, take a good look at it. You never know what you might find. And who knows? The next million-dollar coin might just be lying at the bottom of a drawer, waiting to be discovered. This script covers the coin's historical background, what would hypothetically make it worth millions, and tips on identifying valuable quarters. Best of luck with your video. We're diving into the 1976 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. This coin has a unique history, and some versions have skyrocketed in value. Let's explore what makes this quarter so special, why it might be worth a fortune, and how you can tell if you have one of these valuable coins. The 1976 D Quarter Dollar, also known as the Bicentennial Quarter, was struck to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Released by the U.S. Mint, this quarter was a huge part of America's bicentennial celebration, which included a special design to mark the occasion. To honor this historic milestone, the U.S. Mint introduced a new design for both the obverse and reverse sides of the coin. Instead of the traditional eagle on the reverse, these quarters feature a colonial drummer, a nod to America's Revolutionary War era. What makes this quarter so interesting is that it was produced with the same year, 1776 to 1976, to mark the bicentennial. While these quarters were minted in both Philadelphia and Denver, we're focusing on the D Mint Mark quarters produced in Denver. There were millions of these minted, but only a few rare ones hold a significant value today, condition and rarity. Like all collectible coins, those in the highest grade are worth the most. We're talking about coins with a pristine surface, nowhere, and often an MS65 grade or higher. Beyond just high grades, though, certain errors and variations can make these coins exceptionally valuable. Error coins are one of the most sought-after varieties by collectors, and they can sometimes be worth millions. In the case of the 1976 decorder, look for things like double dies, off-center strikes, or other minting errors that make the coin unique. 
Any coin with a distinctive error has the potential to be very valuable. For example, if you find a double die on either side, it could fetch a high price. Believe it or not, some 1976 D bicentennial quarters have sold for tens of thousands, and even millions, in certain cases. How is this possible? Well, rare, error coins with perfect grading can create bidding wars among collectors. The 1976 D quarter in a rare, perfect MS67 or MS68 grade could demand a premium price. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for these unique coins. Recently, a 1976 D bicentennial quarter with a nearly flawless strike and a rare mint error sold for an impressive amount at auction. Although not all coins will reach the million dollar mark, they can certainly achieve significant values. Want to know if you have a valuable 1976 D quarter? Here's what to look for. First, check for the D mint mark, which should be located on the right side of Washington's portrait. Next, inspect the coin's overall condition. High-quality versions with little to no scratches or dings are most valuable. Finally, look for any minting errors. A coin with a visible error could be worth far more than face value. If you suspect you have a rare or error quarter, it's a good idea to have it professionally graded. Certified coin grading services can verify its condition, and with luck, you could discover a hidden treasure. Who knew a simple quarter could be worth so much? The 1976 D quarter dollar is a piece of history and a potential gold mine for those who know what to look for. So, next time you come across a quarter, be sure to check the date and mint mark. You never know if you might be holding a small fortune in your hands. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the history and value of the 1976 D quarter dollar, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more coin collecting content. And of course, let us know in the comments if you have any interesting coins in your collection. Happy collecting! This script will capture viewers' attention with an interesting mix of history, valuable details, and practical advice for identifying a potentially valuable coin. Happy filming! We're talking about a special coin that might be hiding in your pocket change right now, the 1971 D Washington Quarter. This coin could be worth thousands, or even millions if you have the right one. So stick around to find out what makes this coin so valuable. The Washington Quarter was first issued in 1932 to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington. Fast forward to 1971, and we see the familiar quarter with some important distinctions. 1971 was a significant year because the Denver Mint produced around 258 million of these quarters identified by the D-Mint mark just below Washington's neck. But not all of these coins are created equal. You might be wondering, what could make this common coin so valuable? Let's dive into the unique features and what collectors are looking for. One word, rarity. Now, not every 1971 D Washington quarter is worth big bucks. But there are certain varieties and errors that can skyrocket its value. First, let's talk about mint errors. These mistakes happen during production and include things like double dies, off-center strikes, and planchet errors. A double die error, where the design appears doubled, can turn a regular quarter into a major collectible worth thousands. Show images of double die and off-center strike errors. Another factor is the coin's condition. Coins graded in mint state, especially those with a grade of MS65 or higher, are rare and highly sought after. The higher the grade, the more valuable it becomes. Check for doubled letters in the word liberty, in God we trust, and the date. These can be subtle, so use a magnifying glass to see clearly. This is when the quarter is struck on an incorrect or imperfect planchet. These errors can significantly increase the coin's value. If your quarter appears flawless, it may be worth submitting it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC. A high grade can be worth thousands especially if the coin has exceptional luster and sharp details. Now, let's get to the fun part, the money. Some 1971 decorders with exceptional qualities have sold for big money at auctions. For example, a 1971 decorder with perfect mint state quality or a rare mint error can fetch thousands. But believe it or not, one quarter with extremely rare characteristics was auctioned for well over $10,000. 
so it's possible that some of these rare coins are still out there, waiting to be discovered. So, you might be wondering, how can you find one of these rare quarters? The best place to start is by searching through your pocket change or looking through old coin rolls. Coin shops and online auctions can also have hidden gems. If you think you have a valuable 1971 decorder, I recommend having it professionally graded. This can give you an official grade that will help you get top dollar when you sell. Auctions, coin dealers, and even online platforms like eBay are great places to sell your high-value coins. All right, coin lovers, that wraps up our deep dive into the 1971 D. Washington quarter. So, the next time you're holding a quarter, take a close look. You might be holding a piece of numismatic treasure worth a fortune. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future coin videos. Thanks for watching, and keep collecting! This script should engage viewers, inform them about the unique qualities of the 1971 D. Washington Quarter, and inspire them to start searching for their own valuable finds. We're diving into the history of a remarkable coin that has stirred the interest of collectors and history buffs alike. The 1965 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. Believe it or not, some of these coins can be worth an incredible amount, even up to millions of dollars. So what makes this coin so special? Let's find out. First, let's talk a little bit about the history of the 1965 Washington Quarter. This was a unique year for American coinage. Due to the rising cost of silver in the early 1960s, the U.S. Mint decided to make a significant change. In 1965, they removed silver from quarters and began producing them in a copper-nickel-clad composition. Quarters made in 1964 and earlier were 90% silver, but starting in 1965, they switched to copper and nickel. This was a big shift, as collectors and the general public had to adjust to the new materials. The U.S. Mint stopped using mint marks on quarters until 1968, so no quarters from 1965 have a mint mark. This decision helped phase out the silver coins more smoothly. Now you might be wondering, what makes the 1965 quarter worth so much? Well, in most cases, a 1965 quarter won't be worth more than its face value, but there's one huge exception, if you happen to come across a 1965 silver quarter. That's right, a very small number of 1,965 quarters were accidentally minted on silver planchets left over from 1964. These rare errors are heavier than their copper nickel counterparts, weighing around 6.25 grams compared to the usual 5.67 grams for copper nickel clad quarters. This mistake has made these silver 1965 quarters incredibly rare, and they are highly sought after by collectors. A genuine 1965 silver quarter in excellent condition has the potential to sell for thousands, or even millions of dollars, at auction. Identifying a silver 1965 quarter requires a bit of detective work, but it's totally worth it. The easiest way to tell is by weight. If you have a precise scale, weigh your quarter. Remember, the standard clad quarter should weigh about 5.67 grams but a silver quarter will weigh around 6.25 grams. Another tip is to check the edge of the quarter. Copper nickel quarters have a visible copper band along the edge, but silver quarters do not. One of the reasons why the 1965 silver quarter is so famous is because of the incredible prices it has fetched at auction. In fact, one of these rare silver quarters sold for over $7,000 in 2014. Other reports suggest that a high-grade example could sell for well into six figures, and some speculate that if one appeared in pristine condition, it could reach up to a million dollars. Finding a 1965 silver quarter is like hitting the jackpot for a coin collector. If you think you might have one, make sure to get it authenticated by a reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC. Well, there you have it. The fascinating story behind the 1965 No Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin and why it could be worth a fortune. Remember to check your quarters carefully and keep an eye out for that rare silver planchet. Who knows, you might be holding a treasure worth millions. We're diving into a coin that you might not think twice about when you see it in your pocket change. The 1989 Washington Quarter with the Philadelphia Mint Mark 
or the P mint mark. But did you know that certain versions of this coin can be worth a lot more than just 25 cents? We're talking hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Let's dive into the history, unique characteristics, and exactly what you need to look for. The Washington Quarter has been a staple in American coinage since 1932, originally minted to celebrate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. By 1989, the design was well known, but each year still holds something special for collectors. Minted at the Philadelphia Mint, the 1989 P Quarter features the iconic image of George Washington on the front, designed by sculptor John Flanagan. On the reverse, you'll see the American Eagle, a symbol of strength and freedom. In 1989, the U.S. Mint produced a substantial number of Washington Quarters. The Philadelphia Mint alone struck over half a billion of these coins, making them fairly common, especially in circulated condition. But, as with any collectible, it's not just about how many were made. It's about the quality and uniqueness of the coin. Certain minting errors and exceptional quality coins from this year can make some versions of the 1989 P quarter worth way more. So, what makes an everyday 1989 P quarter into something special? There are a few factors. One big reason a coin's value might skyrocket is due to mint errors. These can include double die strikes where the design is accidentally struck twice, or off-center strikes that cause a portion of the design to appear on the edge. Error coins are highly collectible and can dramatically increase the value of a coin. But it's not just about errors. High-quality examples, known as proof coins or coins graded at MS65 or above, are what serious collectors look for. If you have a 1989 P quarter in exceptional condition with a pristine surface, no scratches, and clear design features, you could be sitting on a valuable coin. To determine if your 1989 P quarter is valuable, the first step is to assess its grade. Professional grading services like PCGS or NGC can help determine this, especially if you think your coin is in mint state condition. For those with coins that feature noticeable errors, checking online auctions, coin forums, or eBay listings can give you a better idea of current market value. Some error coins from 1989 have sold for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. In recent years, we've seen some impressive sales for this coin. A high-grade 1989 P. Washington quarter in mint condition with a prominent error sold at auction for a substantial amount. While it's not common to find one worth millions, rare and well-preserved coins from this year have been known to fetch thousands, making them highly sought after by collectors. So, there you have it. If you have a 1989 P. Washington quarter, it might be worth checking out. Who knows, you could have a valuable piece of history sitting right in your pocket. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin collecting tips. Until next time, happy hunting! This script emphasizes the coin's historical background, factors affecting its value, and the allure of rare finds, making it an engaging and informative video for coin enthusiasts.